All right, what up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Living the Dream podcast. Today on the show, we are talking about quick naps being key. Yep, you heard me, quick naps. That's what we're talking about. Where has it shown up in my life just the other day? I think it might have been yesterday, actually, if I'm not mistaken. I took one. (laughs) Yeah, this is going to be a pretty uneventful podcast, but I just wanted to get on because while quick naps are really simple, you know, you lay down 10, 20 I think 27 to 30 minutes might be the ideal nap time. Let's check. Let's look it up, actually. But, yeah, I took a quick nap the other day. It says 20 to 90 minutes. 10 to 20 minutes is like a power nap, whatever. Um, That's not a big deal. But I laid down because my head was throbbing. I was dehydrated. I was hungry. It was 3 p.m. Man, my job drains my energy. And so I laid down. And after that 10 minutes... I wanted to sleep for another 10 minutes, but I got up because I had to, and I felt a lot better after like another minute of acclimation, two minutes of acclimation. So I wanted to say that to you guys because it is very important to listen to your body, to take care of yourself. Without your body, you cannot produce. And so this reminds me of Stephen R. Covey's kind of uh, metaphor in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, where he's like, you got the golden eggs, then you got the goose that lays the golden eggs. And I think it's like production and production capability or something like that. Anyway, you got to take care of the goose that lays the golden eggs, but you also got to take care to produce the golden eggs. And so you can't do too much taking care of the goose and have it never produce, but you can't have it produce too much and then not take care of the goose. And you are the goose and the golden eggs is like, you know, outputs that happen from your time, loving your family, um, showing up to work, buying that asset that you know you need to buy and that you know you should buy right now. Um, Yeah, that's what that's what it looks like, really. Um, Just take care of your production capability and the production will happen, but make sure the production happens as well, if that makes sense. And that's really what all I want to talk about today. I wanted to show up in my life. Um just allowing myself to do it when I need it. And that's not just napping, that's self-care in general. I think um, I (laughs) am a pretty intense guy. And so I kid you not, guys, this is literally some of the stuff that I'd be saying to myself. All right, you can eat after you get this done. You can go drink water. Mind you, your first ounce of water for the day after you get this done. Just get this done first, hour and a half later, Head hurting, tired, why? Didn't eat, didn't drink. Uh, Yep, I know, it's ridiculous, but I'd be doing it. Mainly because, you know, my relationship with myself might be a little negative. You know, that's something I'm working on. But also, I like to get work done. I don't like procrastinating. And sometimes I think eating can be an excuse. (laughs) So again, there's that production, production capability. If you're procrastinating a whole bunch, and then you, you eat to procrastinate some more, and then you go drink to procrastinate some more, then you exercise, then you meditate, and then you blah, 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 blah. And you never produce? Well, you're not taking care of the production side of things. But don't wake up at 4 a.m. and produce till 12 a.m. and then wake up at 4 a.m. again and only get four hours of sleep ever because then you ruin your production capability and you burn out. So I want to listen to my body and allow myself to nap when I need to nap, to sleep when I need to sleep. But I also want to um, sleep when I need to sleep. Like not listening to my body, like sometimes my body will want to stay up late, but I know I need to go to sleep right now. And so that's some another place where I want to show up. I want to sleep so I don't actually have to take naps. But this has gone from 10 minute naps naps more into just self care. And I think it's the same thing with water and food. Like I want to drink good healthy water. (laughs) I was mixing water and food right there. I want to eat good, healthy food. And I want to drink good, cold, clean water, sometimes warm, if that is what is best for my health. I know that there are some studies that say that. I just want to do that consistently and listen to my body. I know what it needs. I want to give it what it needs, take care of its production capability. So then I can produce. Where this can show up in your life, Kind of take a survey of your body's needs. And when you're looking at your body's needs, you need to sleep, you need to eat, you need to drink, you need to exercise, and you need to, I said sleep already. Maybe I need 
to sleep. Um, go ahead and see, like, am I taking care of myself the way I need to take care of myself? Just take that tally. Same thing with your vivid vision, which is, should be the podcast right before this podcast. Um, your production capability, like, and your production, are you producing towards your vivid vision? You could take a tally on that too, where you should have some daily KPIs that move the needle forward. That's what we do in the Creative Dealmakers Mastermind. But yeah, just take a tally, take a survey of how you're feeling and how you're doing, both with your body and in your with your goals in life. How you're feeling and how you're doing. Um, and then change your behavior, change your thoughts, change your feelings, change your results, change your beliefs accordingly. So... That's all I have for you guys today. Naps are key. Self-care is more key. Taking care of your production capability and your production is essential to living a successful, happy dream life. So go out there and do it. As we always ask, shoot this podcast to one to three people you know need to hear this message. Give us a five-star review on iTunes. Check out the Creative Dealmakers Mastermind on workwithtimmydouglas.com. And I hope... You have a great, great, great rest of your day. On that note, we're out.